So hi guys, it's Marianne Cavasio and in today's video, we are going to discuss validation, social media, and people's problem with being alone. But I have made a video, literally a whole video dedicated on how to really just enjoy your own company and to just thrive even when you have no one else with you. And I really love that video. I put a lot of work and a lot of effort into that video, a bunch of tips and tricks. So if you want to go see that, make sure you go watch that video after this one after this one so with validation i don't have anything inherently against people seeking validation i think the problem with validation comes when people like have rippling self-esteem problems and instead of actually fixing those they just look for external validation due to the rise of social media it's so accessible to be validated like in snap of a finger three seconds and you are validated you feel secure now the problem with you know people seeking validation from social media and from the internet or strangers or their friends on the internet is that slowly but surely your brain is going to be conditioned to only like itself when it's being validated by others like we've seen this throughout psychology like if you train someone a certain way they will continue to be trained like that like it's conditioning and i feel like validation and social media have like a small conditioning effect that they put on people i see people who like like it seems like I'm, I'm, this is all just observations again but it seems like they can't really survive without that external validation like you know i don't know if you know those people but like there's people and even celebrities and you can see it if you observe them they're celebrities who i feel like if you took away their social media platform they would go crazy i see it i see it don't tell me i'm wrong because i'm right okay <laughs> like a lot of not a lot of celebrities but a couple of celebrities i'm thinking of one right now especially the ones who kind of grew up with the fame i feel like they are very unstable individuals from observation again from observation these are just my observations i just feel like if they didn't have people telling them all the time that they're pretty, they're cute, they're this, they're that, that they would feel less than. And this type of validation also comes a kind of bullying almost because, you know, when you have someone who is very famous from a very young age, there's downsides to that too because not only do you have a lot of people who are you know pledging their love and allegiance to you you also have a lot of people who are going to nitpick every single thing that you do and try to find a problem with it and it's like two sides to the same coin i'm i'm really interested to see how like social media plays throughout the course in our lives like in like 50 years they're probably going to be like instagram ruined gen z's mental health like mm -hmm, yeah it did and why i like feel like validation in social media should be secondary to your own personal self-confidence and self-worth is because if you rely completely and totally on other people's validation you there's going to be a point in time when you're alone like i mean we're all alone at some point in time like you're alone when you go to sleep you're alone when you're eating breakfast maybe you're alone at some point in your day or in your life you're going to be alone it might be for a short period of time might be for a long period of time but now you have kind of conditioned yourself that you cannot survive without other people's validation and without other people's attention almost <laughs> and i i i'm kind of calling myself out a little bit here because i i like attention i'm not gonna be <laughs> i'm not gonna sugarcoat it I'm not gonna try to like who doesn't like validation who doesn't like attention i mean sometimes attention is a little awkward but still it's nice like it's nice to have people like acknowledge you and people to like just reaffirm what you already think or maybe give you a new idea about yourself that you didn't think before and you know it's just it's very interesting like there's two sides to the same coin like it's like on one end you know it's nice sometimes to receive compliments from friends or from family or from strangers but then on the other hand you know there's like this effect that once you start receiving those compliments it becomes hard to base your self-worth off of anything else than that and i think a really good example about this is actually male validation and male validation is very interesting because i don't think 
personally i don't think like women seek it out because they want to but rather because it's just like something that they've developed which is kind of what i'm kind of what i'm trying to stress here that it's like something that's developed it's like a habit and once you start it you can't stop and male validation is very interesting because it's like it's interesting to me maybe because i'm like different or whatever but it's interesting to me because i have done a couple of things in my life to please others i used to be a huge people pleaser and then i don't know what happened but i just kind of stopped like caring about what people thought of me or my ideas like i just i i just like didn't care anymore wait actually i do know what did trauma um <laughs> trauma will break you out of the bonds of seeking validation and people pleasing okay once someone takes advantage of you i think it kind of flipped a switch in my brain it really did because someone took advantage of me and then i was like oh like <laughs> it was just it was it was an eye-opening moment almost for me but i didn't realize it immediately actually looking back at that i didn't realize that switch had flipped immediately honestly i kept those people pleasing tendencies for at least a couple more months after incident that shall not be named <laughs> but yeah i i don't know i just thoughts thoughts 